Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be diving into Cardano and exactly where I think price is going to head to. So guys, firstly highlighting, going to be highlighting this major resistance level formed over here. Back around 2018, you can see here when it did have that initial spike around that $1.50 cent level, there was that massive resistance form here before it did go all the way down to the bottoms around that 10 cent level. You can see here what's exactly happening is it did break around this resistance level when that surge happened around 2021 and it created that form over here, created a new level of resistance and that all time high around that $3 region over here. And ever since then, it has been on a massive decline to where it is at the moment. So exactly what you can see here, this resistance was formed, it broke above and now it went back down and is retesting this resistance level here. You can see exactly here where that retest is happening. So this level over here, these levels here are being retested at the moment around that 80 cent region. And at the moment, guys, you can see here, it doesn't look that good at the moment, especially that retest happened. And ever since this region here, you can see it was wicked off here. So if I zoom in exactly what's happening here, you can see that level here of wick at the bottom was completely wicked off in around March 24 and a couple of months ago in April you can see it completely broke this and went down ever since then and it, over there it went around 30% down to where it is at the moment and ever since then these levels of wicks at the bottom has been wicked off so just be careful exactly what's going on so in the next couple of months or so if this key continues getting wicked off at these bottoms over here there is a very strong possibility of going further down to around this 20 cent region and even back down towards that cent region as well so just be careful exactly what's going on as well again what i'll do is highlight again as well so you can see here that support that was formed around here around january february time around that 50 cent region it, then it did break that support level and stayed below that support level over here as well you can see over here that support level was broken in fact over here and stayed below so there is a good possibility of going back down to these levels at least so just be careful of exactly what's going on here at the moment you can see here as well going in depth a bit more there is that little minor support being formed over here so there is a range that's being playing at the moment so you can see here between that 40 cent region to around that 65 cent region just be careful what's going on here most likely what's going to be happening is going to be ranging for a while sometime like this before and either breakout retest around this resistance level here and going back up or what's going to happen is break around retest the support level and go back down to that 20 cent region so just be careful of what's exactly going on here if you want a strong indication of it being a buy bias this resistance level here around that 60 cent region or even around this 70 percent region ideally because you know that resistance was exactly tapped in here and rejected since so this region exactly has to be broken in order for it to reach around these levels of support around here around the 90 cent region going back up to this major level over here you can see this major level here around that dollar region and this strong region where you can see here the amount of rejections that was happening around this level creating a strong level of support before going up there so this region needs to be broken in order for it to go up down here so at the moment it's ranging even going down to a daily time frame as you can see going in depth a bit more you can see there is that range being formed as well you can see there's a range right now between that 40 cent to 50 cent region again guys this needs to be broken in order for you to see that retest on the range and going up towards these levels here. Hopefully going up back to all that 80 cent region. Obviously ignoring these sort of low lows, low highs being formed on this level as well. So just be careful of this range happening down as well. Even going on to the weekly time frame, you can sort of see like a head and shoulder pattern being formed. Not exactly head and shoulder, but it sort of is a head and shoulder pattern here. If I show you, you can see here this sort of head and shoulder pattern here. So if that does play out, as you know about head and shoulders, especially this sort of upper movement, there is that region of it reversing this region and going back down to this sort of region as well so just be careful of exactly what's happening on here as well even jumping onto the four hour time frame if you guys do a lot of you know intraday trading you can see here as i said 
previously on the daily time frame there is that massive range being formed here so at the moment you just keep on bouncing between this 40 cent to 50 cent region so just be careful exactly what's going on here just making sure there is that breakout of these ranges before a clear indication of a buy or a sell so that's just a quick wrap up of cardano guys this is my opinion of course just make sure you let me know what you guys think as well make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment down below so i can see what you guys think of cardano and his future so guys i'm gonna wrap this video up here and i'll catch you guys on the next video